Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh In this video, I'm going to talk about how you can use the Kramer's rule uh, which relate the determinants of the matrix in order to find the solution of linear systems Well, recall that whenever you have a set of linear equations you can always write it in terms of matrix A which contains all the coefficients of the unknown variables and right next to it is the matrix which has all the unknown variables and here is another column matrix that contains the constants on the right hand side of the linear equations so uh, before we go on to the idea of Kramer's rule here are some notations that you might want to pay attention to so here um, when you have this matrix so here is matrix a uh, out of this matrix you can create new matrices uh, so here is the simple idea of how you can create new matrix and we call it a with the small subscript i and b so what it means really is this matrix will be created when you consider um, substituting this matrix B into um, matrix A. For example, if you want um, A1B, it means that you will substituting this matrix, color matrix B, into the position of matrix A, or into the position of the first column in matrix A. So here what is what it says here. So A I B denote the matrix which is a new matrix. So this is the new matrix that you can get by replacing B in the ith column of A. So if you want A one B that means you are going to replace this column matrix B into the first column of matrix A. Uh, well, another example, let's say you want A3B. Basically, it means that you're going to substitute again this column matrix B into the third column of matrix A. So, uh, that's the idea. Okay, now let's say you have um, several unknown variables so here is the unknown variables that you would like to find the solutions to it so the solutions or the values of these unknown variables can be determined by considering this simple formula so here the formulas involved finding the determinant of matrix a and also the determinant of all the new matrices that you created so matrix a i b is um, the new matrix yeah okay so again a i b comes from this idea given here okay um well i think uh, to illustrate the idea uh, we can actually consider these two examples here and in this video i think i'm just going to focus on this example of having a linear system with two equations first and uh, just a simple note here really what you can see is that um, this idea Kramer's rule is is not efficient if you have a large system of linear equations so it can only be done or it is only efficient for for small systems okay Right, uh, without further ado, we are going to focus on uh, trying to apply the idea of Kramer's rule to solve this system of linear equations. So here is the system. And again, um, from this system, you can see that it is possible to write it in terms of matrices equation. And they are going to look like this. So here is matrix A which contains the coefficients uh, for the first row we have 1 and 2 
for the second row here we have negative 1 and 4 so that is matrix A right next to it we're going to um, write down the unknown variables so we can see from the system here we have two unknown variables here we have x1 and x2 then right next to it on the right hand side of the equation this is matrix b and then here are the uh, constants related to it which is 2 and 1 so for clarity let me just label it again so this is a this is a matrix of x that contains all the unknown variables and here is matrix b now what we can do is uh, first of all you can see that the formula here contains finding the determinant of a so maybe we can start off with that okay so what is the determinant of, of matrix a right so determinant of matrix a can be obtained when you consider all these values here and this becomes uh this is quite easy to calculate so here we've got one times four is four minus these two guys multiplied with each other so we got negative two and here is six so that is the determinant of matrix a next uh what we have to do is i need to create a new matrix so here we have two columns therefore i'm going to have two matrices here we've got two random variable uh, random variables that you need to find unknown variables yeah sorry you have two unknown variables that you need to find therefore uh, we are going to have a new matrix two new matrices okay so the first matrix the first matrix is well we can call it a one b so that is the first matrix what it means is we are going to substitute B here into the first column of matrix A. So the new matrix will look like this. It will be 2 and 1. So that is the new uh, matrix B. And it will be in the first column of matrix A. And here we maintain the remaining values which are 2 and 4. Uh, next, our job is to find what is the determinant of this new matrix. And that is very easy. So here is 2 times 4 is 8 minus 2. So that one is 6. Now, based on the formula given here, if I want to find, if I want to find what's the value of x1, I need to find what's the determinant of um, the new matrix there that is obtained by substituting matrix B into the position of the first column and divided with determinant of A. Therefore, um, I want to find what is X1, this position. Matrix B is already substituted right on the first column. You have already obtained the determinant of this new matrix. Therefore, x1 is going to be equal to this value here divided by determinant of a so here 6 over 6 which is equal to 1 so this is the solution for the unknown variable x1 right next is we're going to find what's the solution for x2 and this is the second variable therefore we're going to have a second new matrix a to b and this matrix can be obtained when you substitute matrix b into the second column of matrix a therefore the new matrix is going to look like this one and negative one are obtained based on the original matrix but then the second column of matrix a will have the new values of uh, these two guys here so we have 2 and 1 uh, based on this new matrix you can find the determinant of, of it and that is very easy to obtain so here 1 times 1 is 1 minus negative 1 times 2 is negative 2 so here is 3 and 
according to the formula given here. If you want to find what is the value of the second unknown variable, which is x2, what you need to do is you need to find the determinant of a new matrix, which is A to B. And this new matrix is obtained by substituting matrix B into the second column of matrix A. And you find the determinant of that new matrix. And then you divide it with determinant of A. So here, what we're going to do is therefore, the value of x2 is just this guy over here divided with determinant of A, the original matrix A. So the answer is 1 over 2. Okay, so that is quite easy to, to obtain. Um, so perhaps in the next video, I will focus on finding the solutions of this uh, linear systems. Um, here we have three unknown variables, x, y, and z. It's going to be a bit long. The process is going to be a bit long. So I think I'll just continue that in the next video. Uh, thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you soon.